South Africa is a rapidly emerging economy. It relies on mobile phones and wireless technology, far more than on expensive to lay landlines. Young company Boza designs mobile phone apps, not just for entertainment, but to help people in poorer communities. Cheap mobile phones have revolutionized everyday life. We have an enormous generation of people who will never have access to a computer, but they will have access to a mobile phone. So we're focusing on entertainment to being the backbone, the backbone which holds people there. They can come and they can have a good time, but they can also get health information. So on our application, it's not always about just listening to great hip hop or gospel, if that's what you're into. You can also get some love life information around sexual health. Sexual health is a huge issue for young people in South Africa, and Boza believe apps can help. So the challenge for app designer Nanzi is to come up with a life app for sexual health. Nanzi grew up in the townships. Now she's a key member of Boza's creative team. Oh, cool. So she's given me pens. London, a 21st century world city. Close to the skyscrapers of its financial elite lies Shoreditch, London's creative digital hub. A digital incubator and designer heaven. It's all about young people developing new ideas, making money, and also doing good, including with the mobile phone. A mobile phone is a very powerful tool and it can empower people around the world and using mobile phone technology to solve problems in one's local community can be a great way to create change. One leading charity showing how mobiles can be used for good is CDI, the Center for Digital Inclusion, based in Brazil, but with a branch here in Shoreditch. The program is called Apps for Good, and it's about inspiring young people to become problem solvers through getting them to think through a process of what is their problem in their local community and how can they solve it using mobile technology. Apps for Good are now working with 50,000 young people across Britain, creating mobile, social and web apps. So we're trying to create a generation of problem solvers so that young people can get the skills that they need to actually understand what the technology is so that they're not just consuming technology. Apps are definitely not about money and games. Apps are about solving a problem. And yes, there's a huge commercial industry out there doing that. But the main thing that we advocate is that getting young people interested in the first place, in being part of the tech mobile app economy is really important. 